Hey Virgos, welcome back to Stars and Stars Show. We are doing your What You Need to Know in the next 72 hour readings. If you do not follow me on Instagram, feel free to. I go live every single day of the week ahead readings. I also go live for the full moon and the new moon readings, which I will be going live about the 14th or the 15th for the full moon in Libra. If you guys are interested, that will always be by element. If you're looking for a zodiac specific message, that will always be here on youtube so make sure to like share comment and subscribe especially if your content is relatable if not that's totally cool just uh take what resonates leave the rest behind and if you have to leave, uh, leave the whole reading behind that's totally cool too just um i have playlists of countless timeless content if you want to go through it got twin flame readings what demon is attached to your karmic and why and you know just whatever you're drawn to all right let's see virgo Oh, I'm also on TikTok now. If you guys want to see short collective messages, Stars Universe 777. Oof. You have uncertainty, Virgo. Okay. So you're not sure about a certain someone or a certain situation, and it's actually bringing you some kind of sadness here. Because you know that you deserve something better. And I feel like something has presented itself, Virgo. Some kind of new opportunity here. But because you're still in this uncertainty type of energy, you don't know if you deserve... I feel like the gift of the universe... The, the gift from the universe. And I feel like it's key... Because you're really pretty much in your head about it, Virgo. I'm feeling a lot of Gemini energy. Um, but you are well, uh, you are ruled by Mercury. If you're going to um, take a plunge into this new situation or into this new um, into this new whatever this is, because it, it's definitely something new. But what's keeping you from moving forward is something in the past. You're you're thinking, is this is this does this have to is this tied to something in the past? Like somebody feels. I don't know, trapped in some type of way. Um, there's that Gemini energy, eight of swords. Um, but what I wanted to say is that if you're gonna if you're gonna um, take a leap of faith on whatever this is here, you want to do it before the Mercury retrograde, and we go into the shadow period of Mercury retrograde. I believe April twenty fifth of this month. So, because Virgo, I'm a Virgo moon. Let me tell you. I know that we get affected. That Mercury retrograde is always a pain in the ass, and I am I'm, I'm one to say because I was born in a, a while Mercury was in retrograde. Okay, and that just still fucks me up every single time. So just be mindful of that Virgo because I feel like you there's a lot of ex, um, unexpressed feelings or unexpressed um, there's a deep conversation. And a deep knowing about what is to be said or what is this it's really weird the the <laughs> the energy is very heavy 5d so you really see this person a lot in your future you've planned a whole ass future with this person Virgo that being said you need to be careful what um your next investments I think are going to be because I feel like you're investing for the long term because you see yourself as something that is not that doesn't come around every day and that's perfectly fine Virgo you should feel that way nine of pentacles energy I'm feeling a lot from this card um this is usually my Pisces card you're rare um and free and there are not many like you but this that is your polar opposite Pisces Vir Virgo they're sister signs right and I feel like the big sister, little sister, Pisces being the little sister, because Virgo, we always in charge, right? Um, you're babying either an aspect of yourself right now, Virgo, or you're trying to, you're you're trying to see if somebody like if it, oh, okay, so you want to know if this person comes with attachment, if this person comes with codependency, does this person come with baggage? That's what you're worried about. You're you're afraid that this person is all innocent and. It's all looks, but it's going to be bullshit in the in the end. <laughs> Follow your own good advice in the right way. I think the best thing I could tell you is you never know until you try, Virgo. 
that's the very first like advice I'm gonna give to you right now but with the right way I also want you to understand that this is not even though it's new and exciting and fun or very alluring or tempting or whatever it may be you want to take this slow Taurus energy clarify uncertainty You have answered the call in the reverse. Yeah, you haven't yet made your decision about this. Because you're... You don't know if this person is... Okay, there's a mirroring energy for sure, Virgo, going on here, where um, either you or this person feels like trigger warning. Like somebody is looking for the red flags. Yeah, but with the tower under the deck and the pillar of light, your vibration is rising. You are the oracle. Do not, don't, don't manifest the tower moment because you're scared. This person is not, this person's healthy. With the mirror in the reverse, they're not triggering, they're not triggering you. You're not triggering them. You're just a little nervous. You got butterflies, if anything, but... It's not what you think. Like, there's a light at the end of the tunnel with this person. You could be dealing with the Scorpio and Aries or a Taurus. Again, Gemini, uh, strong Gemini energy here. Sagittarius energy with the pillar of light. But I feel like you could feel and you see love in the long term with this person, Virgo. And it's really hard for you to ignore it because it comes with these, like, fuzzy feelings and this cuteness and this oh my god I could see myself forever with this person and that's what scares you <laughs> the most I think because I was saying I did feel a lot of nine of pentacles energy off of this card right here which is your energy Virgo that is the single card and I think that maybe you're just not done being single but at the same time, when answer the call in the reverse, you don't want to miss this opportunity. Clarify, answer the call. Yeah, you're not gonna do it. You're not gonna do it. You don't. You don't feel safe. But are you willing to risk this happiness, though? Look, are you willing to risk this ten of cups here? Because this person's very stable. They're very logical. They have a game plan. To, like this person, if this person is not wealthy yet, they will be. They will be. With the King of Pentacles, that's definitely wealth. That's long-term wealth. With the Ten of Cups, this person sees a family with you. So if you're wondering if if it's just you, like if you're just the one imagining like what it would be like to be with this person. No, they're imagining what it would be like to be with you too. And they like it. They see it. And like I said, like I feel like you're you guys are sharing the same vision here. That's why you get scared when the message comes, the download comes of what a beautiful life you guys could have together, what a beautiful family you guys could have together. And that and then once again this fear gets triggered. Clarify mirror in the reverse. It's because you know what? This person's not toxic. The high priestess. Yeah, this person's very intuitive as well. So this person can feel when you get scared and they fall back they fall back they give you that space because they understand they understand where the rejection in the past came from they're not angry either virgo and secretly they're waiting for you they're waiting for you and manifesting you with the empress because they know that you're watching them or they're watching you very obsessively could be dealing with the Capricorn, uh, Taurus, a Libra, and Aries, Pisces, Cancer. This person's waiting for you, but this person, it's like every time they go through the, this rejection in the past, whether it's like when, when they're at a crossroads, when they're, um, when I feel like it's when their memory is at a crossroads with the, with the two of swords that they're highlighting here with the, in, within the three of swords that's what breaks their heart when they relive the rejection in their head with the king of swords that stayed at the bottom of the deck because they know that they're the high priestess they know that they're the empress slash emperor slash magician they know 
who they are and what they stand for logically in the in the i feel like in the spiritual realm as well as the as the physical realm that's why they're the high priestess and they're the empress they they hold a very professional um a very professional title in both realms here and this person this is why the rejection hurts so hard because this person knows who they are inside and they they can't grasp why you're so scared of them or you're so scared of this commitment or why you don't want to give to this situation clarify the crumbling i feel like this person's almost at a point where they might cry to you like why <laughs> king of swords but or they or maybe you you don't care you don't care <laughs> you're gonna let it you're gonna let it you're gonna let it fly by and that's the biggest tower of your life here though i'm not gonna lie to you virgo i'm not gonna sit here and sugarcoat anything that comes out in these cards um you have the tower twice here um taking your own good advice you're taking your logical your, a logical standpoint on this um as the king of swords here and you're um you're deciding you're going to cut this off you don't want it you don't want it and um I, i'd be lying to you if i if i didn't say that this was a definitely a gift from the universe with the four of cups here this was a new relationship that was supposed to bring celebration and a lot of love but if you don't want it, you don't want it. Like there's nothing, like the universe is not going to force you to do something you don't want. Okay. All right, Virgo. Final message here. You have Shidoshi. Shidoshi cleanses the soul from past hurts. Her presence indicates recovery and a reclaiming of dignity after experiences of being judged, betrayed, and criticized. This person mirrors your energy so well that this person knows what you've been through in your past without ever having to ask you who, what, where, when, and why. And that's why it's too intense of a relationship for you to purge into. If your innate being has been put down in any way or if there has been bullying or nastiness directed toward you shidoshi brings healing and renewal so you can rise above and lay claim to the innit beauty and worth you're very very beautiful virgo whether you're a male or a female you're very handsome whatever it is you're very attractive you have this empress energy with high standards and and this loving light and you can give it to whoever you want okay and if you are manifesting a person in your life who can meet you at that level you've done that because this person's innate beauty is what they're really highlighting to you so if this person isn't really your type or this person is not what you go for on a regular basis i'm really hearing opposites attract so this is somebody who's definitely you've never been with before in your life nobody like them don't let the differences be the reason why you miss out on something beautiful because we're all here to we're all here um to learn and to grow and to raise our vibrations as a collective and sometimes we don't know enough about a foreign culture we don't know enough about the way people live outside of our box and sometimes we need that insight for gold that knowledge to understand why certain situations happen maybe in our past maybe to make sure that we don't fall into those patterns in the future you don't know just if you're asking me if god's leading you here and now yes it, it, it are they going to be disappointed if you let this person go yes I mean, will they fucking make you pay for it for the rest of your life? No, <laughs> absolutely not. It's just an opportunity. But some opportunities, you know, some golden tickets are not meant to be um, passed by. All right. That's what I have for you, Virgo, and I hope this helped.